Hello. Um, so, some of my viewers asked me about the grip and the knock height. So, um, I want to clarify something that may not be immediately obvious. I am a thumb draw archer. I shoot with a thumb. So, if you use finger draw, the physics may be a little different. Okay? And uh, this video is going to explain and address some of the issues um, when you, after you knock the arrow and you, you hold the bow, you draw, uh, it will kind of squeeze this part here and cause this to raise up. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to grip the bow and how do you make sure that uh, you hold it exactly where you want. Uh, also, I'm going to conclude with how do you knock an arrow that is very loose. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, for a thumb draw, okay, for a thumb draw, when we hold the bow, there are three things, three things that you need to pay attention to. Number one, the pressure point here. Okay, this is where we push forward. Okay. We push forward. Number two, uh, the web here, the web here, this part here, you want to hold it such that it is the height that you want. Okay, you do not want it to be higher or lower because that will, that will cause inconsistency in your shot. Okay, that will be number two. Number three, you will pull the finger here into here, which is the root of the palm. And then you pull back. So again, I'm going to say this again. This part is called the heart of the palm. This is going to push forward on the, on here, the, the upper part here. It's going to push forward. At the same time, we're going to make sure that the, the web here is at a correct position. And we use our finger here to pull back into the root of the palm. Okay, those were the three things. Okay, now I'm going to go into details of how it's done. When I approach the grip, I actually approach from a little bit lower and push up. So this is how it's going to look. As I approach here, I actually put my finger, my finger here, pressing on the grip and apply pressure. Okay, squeeze it into the heart of the palm. Squeeze it so that this is going to raise. This is going to raise. After you raise, you bring it up. You bring it up such that now this is exactly on this line. Okay. If I relax the finger here, look at what happened. It comes down. Okay. So as I approach from the bottom, my finger squeeze, it raises a little bit up. Then I position it such that it is exactly where I want it, this line here. I relax it a little bit, it comes down, that's fine. As long as this part here is gripping the correct position, now I apply my three fingers, pulling the bow into the root. Okay, so now it appears a bit lower. It appears a bit lower, but when I draw the bow and pressure is applied to the handle, you see now, it is exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so. That is how you hold the bow and ensure that um, you are holding correctly relative to this line. Because wh why do we have to hold correctly to this line? First of all, it's consistency. Number two, when you set, set your knock height, that knock height is based on a certain distance from this one, this line here. If you hold higher, your knock height changes. For example, myself, again remember, I'm a thumb, thumb draw archer and I have the arrow almost 90 degrees, only one mil above that line. So if I hold one mil higher, okay, then I'll have zero, zero clearance. If I hold one mil lower, I'll have two mil clearance. And if I hold two mil higher, I'll have negative one clearance. So these are just basic math. So I want to hold, I want to make sure that I hold exactly on the line so that I, I, I always get the one mil clearance that I wanted. And that's how I hold.
approach, squeeze here, get that line correctly, bring this finger here, and when I draw, that is exactly where it sits. Okay. Now, when you hold this bow, uh, there is something that you should know. We actually, for thumb draw arches, thumb draw arches, we actually only use either this two finger here or this three finger here to hold the bow. Not all fingers like this, not like this. Only two or three. Uh, and it depends on how much do you want to torque the bow. If you don't need to torque much, just two finger. If you want to torque more, three finger. The two finger here, the thumb and the index finger, is actually free. You can do anything you want. You can put it out like this and use it as a draw check so that you, uh, you, you make sure that you draw the same draw length every time. You could also keep it like this, close it like this, it's up to you. There are many styles of what you, make. you can do with the, thing, the finger and the thumb. Uh, but what matters is just these three here. Two or three. Depends. Okay. Now, if you use finger draw, this is actually going to be a little bit different. Because finger draw, we actually hold like this. I'm not going to talk about the details of the grip, but it holds like this. And when they do so like that, you see the pressure point is on the lower side of the, of the handle. When they apply on the lower side of the handle, the bow tend to want to kick out like this. As a result, they need to stiffen up the limb uh, so that it will, it will prevent this side from kicking out. It will kind of pull it back. When it's stiff, it will kind of pull it back. But as a result, when you stiffen this one more relative to this one, they will need a higher tailor. Whereas for thumb draw, you can actually get away with very, very low tailor, like a, a positive tailor of maybe 1 mil, 2 mil, 3 mil, or even, even tailor. It's going to work fine. Uh, whereas a finger draw, they have very specific, it has to be a certain, certain tailor, which is usually higher. Um, and when they have a higher tailor, they also need to get the knock higher. Okay, so uh, that's why in the case of finger draw, the physics will work differently than thumb draw. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to explain a bit about the finger draw. As you push out, you increase the, the strength of the lower limb, which causes a higher tailor, uh, just to bring this back. But as, as you shoot, as you shoot, you can't avoid the fact that you are pushing down, and as a result, the bow is going to kick like this. So when that happens, you need to have the knock height also higher, so that when you shoot, it kind of dips down, and, and even though it dips down, it doesn't smash into your hand or the, or the shelf. So usually the finger draw, they tend to need higher knock height and a higher positive tailor. Whereas thumb draw, we can get away with quite a lot of things. Uh, even tailor, even negative tailor, we can actually get away with negative tailor. Uh, even tailor is fine. Positive tailor, it could be anything positive, one mil, two mil, whatever, it will work fine. Um, what else? Uh, then the, uh, the knock height, like I, I said on the other video, you could use as low as like zero mil, one mil, doesn't really matter. So what is happening is that if you do the grip, like I explained just now, I'm going to show you what happens when we release the string. Although I'm going to do just a very small, mini one inch dry fire, which is not going to harm my beautiful bow. Um, okay, so you push forward here, you pull here, your bow tends to have this, this tendency of a Kind of want to slant forward okay when i pull back one inch and i let go you see the bow tilt forward it tilts forward and that would actually cause the tail of the arrow here to kind of lift up a little bit okay it lifts as it exits the bow so even though i only have one mil clearance uh, when i set up the knock height but when I shoot it, it actually lifts a little bit. So I I get a few more extra mil of clearance for my hand. And that's why when you have uh, this motion here, we call it a katra. Um, you, you can actually get away with a very, very low brace height. Um, so I, I guess I addressed both the issue with the grip and uh, the knock height. 
And now I'm going to talk about if you have very loose knock, how do you shoot? Because if it's very loose, it, it won't hold and it will keep falling off, right? So I want to show you my bow here. I have a, a preference to use super loose knock. And how loose? Let me show you. I'm going to knock it and let go. Okay, again, I'm going to knock it and let go. Okay, knock it, let go. It never hook. This is super loose. It doesn't, it doesn't click. But I can shoot it. No issue. I got no issue with that. Why? Uh, it has to do with what we do with uh, this bow hand here. Remember I told you that you really only need the bottom fingers, you don't really need the top fingers. Top fingers are relaxed. So when we knock our arrow, doesn't matter if you hold it this way, this way, whatever, you put, you support it, you support the front like this. Push, pull, then apply pressure backwards, hook the string, let go of the arrow, push forward, that's where it applies the pressure, you can push forward at the same time, press here just to make sure that you get this positioning here correct. Then, hold the bottom, and there you go. It never falls off, and you see, now I'm drawing it, and I get exactly where I want. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. So, as I approach, squeeze the front, raise it, hold the bottom. If I, if I do not pull, you see what happens? It drops. But when I pull back, see exactly where I want it. Okay. So, I hope this answers you about thumb draw archery and uh, all these common problems that you get when you try to do thumb draw.